Right, so I've got a little bit of a theme in mind. I'm going to go with a sort of um, military pistol sort of look, you know, with the machine louvers and so on and stuff like that. So we're going to start off with a square billet. Like so. That's going to resemble a bit more of a pistol sort of look. I've got my secret weapon here, literally. <laughs> it's an airsoft gun, in case you're wondering. So... Thinking these details here we're gonna add to the underneath and then I might copy this sort of radius there which looks to be about a five mil radius five R oh, maybe maybe machine where the breach would be do a slight recess to where that would go It'd look pretty cool if we put 9mm or 45 ACP, something like that. Yeah, we'll just get at it, see what happens. Okay, so the first thing we need to do is we need to get some daikon so we can do some layout on the hammerhead. We'll just give it a quick one ish. So I'm going to mark the sensor. Then machine the slot first because we don't have any design window with the slot because the slot is what it is. So let's so get to me some machine and slot. radius off, nice and smooth, so you can see it already looks like the top part of the pistol already. I like it so far. So hopefully you can see it's starting to make, uh, make shape a little bit now. So that to me quite clearly resembles a breach. I'm just going to put a slight 45 on there. I might have changed my design slightly. I might not do the holes now. I might just do the the grooves. But yeah, keep going. Liking it. Okay, now I'm going to stamp kinetic customs. Okay. Okay, so we've got the side stamped up, Kinetic Customs, one of one. On the other side, in the breach, we've got 9mm. And underneath, we've got my make, AH. That's my hammer that I've made. Looking for this week.
okie dokie, we've got the uh, the grooves machined in the bottom there which would normally hold a laser or a torch on your pistol. Getting closer. Okay, so the next step is to round these edges off here so it resembles this. The sight chamfer on the front. I've just machined this groove here, which is that bit there. So the idea is it's kind of symmetrical both which ways you look at it. That's it, on to harden it next and then uh, surface finishing. Okay, so that's it all hardened. Now by the way the file escaped off the case. That's both very good. Working hard, now it's on to send it all the scale off and I think I'm gonna do brushed finish down the sides and then use the perma glue finish, the gun barrel glue solution. finished in perma blue you can see some of the similarities there so geez Joel what have you done to your end idiot <laughs> <laughs>